Yo, what is going on T Squad? It is your boy T here, man, and we are back on the same day with another reaction video. Um, I only had one video got today, but I was reading through my comments and somebody had just linked me um Chot Reyes's um he had an interview after the brawl against Australia versus um Gila, sorry, and um yeah, I just I just wanna watch it, see what the coach has to say, see what his thoughts and opinions are about it, because hearing it from a coach's standpoint, you know, what he has to say. I think it'd be pretty interesting to hear. Now, disregarding my brawl video, Aussie versus Gilas, I'm actually ashamed, man. I'm actually very, very ashamed. And a lot of the Australian supporters' um, comments in my in my comment section, like, I understand, you know, being passionate, being angry against, you know, Gilas, you know, talking about, you know, that was, you know, just all that negative shit. But the fact that you guys took it to a whole new level of being racist. Like, that is not okay, man. If I ever see some racist stuff like that again in my comments, you'll be permanently blocked. Like, that shit is not okay. Like, what I said in my comments, if you go on, if you go on that video, the top comment that I pinned myself is, if you are an Australian fan, this comment section ain't for you. You know, some people wanted to reach and be like, that's racist, you know, it's like stupid shit like that. Like, no. What I was meaning is that if you're an Australian fan, majority of my comments are going to be supporting Gillis. Now, unless you wanted your head chewed off, by the Gila supporters, man, this comment section wasn't for you. But of course, we had people that wanted to flip that and make it sound like I was a racist. No. And the fact that you guys were like going in my comment sections, I'm talking about the Australians, were going in my comment sections and call like the Filipinos like monkeys and bro, like, bro, that's no, like, no. That's just not cool, man. I don't give a f no. Like, no matter what, that is ra that that's racist. What I said wasn't what you guys are saying in there, and that goes for both. There was some um Gila supporters who were saying some racist things as well which is not okay there was people on both parties you know what i'm saying just none of like that shit is just not okay i don't care who you are what you support none of that should ever be okay so i, I just i just hate seeing that shit man and when people try to call me that it makes me feel some type of way because i know i'm not and it's just I, it, it was just unacceptable man it, it, people just took that too far we were we were talking about the fight man the fight the fight in the game and, and the fact that people wanted to take it past the fight, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had some dude come on my Instagram today and was like, well, where do you live? I want to fight you 1v1, me and you. Like, for what? For my for my reaction over a basketball, bro? Like, you guys are taking this shit way too... You guys are taking it too hard, man. You guys need to chill out. It's just... Like, I'm pretty sure the Gillis and Australian team players right now, they're over it. Why can't the fans get over it? <sighs> I don't know, man. It's just ridiculous to me. So we're going to jump into this interview, see what he has to say about it, man. Hope you guys are excited for this video, T-Squad. Let's get into it. Your thoughts go on the road. What happened? What happened? Uh, well, it's unfortunate. Uh, mm, it was unfortunate. We, we didn't want to end. We, we didn't want that to happen. It's absolutely unacceptable. It is unacceptable. It's unfortunate, but, but it happened. The is Kicker was hitting our players. Yes, sorry. I'm going to be pausing this a lot just to get my input. Bro, the reason why all of this shit started is because the Aussie team, the day before, or the same day, wanted to peel the sticker, the, the Gila stickers off the floor, like the sponsor stickers and shit like that. Like, like that. And and the fact that Aussie like fans are being like, trying to defend that, I was like, oh my God. It's, it's, it's actually mind blowing how like, how blind you are to the truth of this shit. It's ridiculous. The yeah, I, I haven't seen the warm-ups personally, but um, I heard that a lot of the um, Aussie fans were like, Aussie on the Aussie team was like doing some shit in the warm-ups. During the warm-ups. Yeah, during the warm-ups, yeah. So when he did that, uh, the, the foul of Pogoy on Golding was called a foul, offensive foul. It was a basketball play. Mm -hmm, of but course. he was the one who came in and then he decked uh, Pogoy. Bro, that, yeah, exactly. Uh, like, I understand that, you know, um, what is it? What's the, what's the word I'm looking for? I understand that there was a lot of tension there and like everybody was like, you know, since the start of the game, since the, you know, earlier, since the sticker shit, like everybody was like, you know, on edge, like they were fired up. So, of course the play was going to be a bit more physical than it usually would be. That's just, you know, in the nature of, of sports, you know what I'm saying? Something happens, it tends to, you know, make sports more physical. Now, the fact that, from what I'm just basing what I saw, Gillis player went up, you know, may have caught a water elbow, whatever. He tried to flop, draw the foul, basketball play, you know, simple. But the fact that the Aussie player came in the neck to the Gillis player 
And then all the Aussie supporters, Aussie, you know, are trying to be like, he was just defending, like, <sighs> For the fifth time, you can't expect to do that to a team for five times and not, ex and not expect to be to retaliate. Exactly, so, that's what I'm that's saying. What happened. Unfortunately, that's, uh, that, that triggered the entire brawl. And unfortunate as it is, like I said, um, we, we, it, it's, it's something that uh, uh, you have to know, you have to, uh, you have to be there to know what really went down. Yeah. And I know a lot of other Filipinos, and especially a lot of PBA players, are saying uh, their piece, but they don't know what happened. They don't mm. really know what went on. So, that's, that's all we have to say. What's your consequences? Are we expecting uh, consequences and suspension for these players that were involved? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's up to FIBA in the end. But uh, we need to face those consequences. It is what it is. But uh, you can't, be, like I said, uh, uh, we, the one thing that they have to know about this team is that you know, we, we, we're not going to back down. Mm, that's exactly, and that's what I like we about Gillis, restrained. man. That's what I like about Gillis, man, no matter what. You know, a lot of ex-PBA players, like you said, and stuff like that weren't happy about it. But as a, as a team, man, you can't back down like that, man. I understand, you know, this, the Gillis team, you know, the whole bench coming onto the court, I understand that could have, you know, that, that wasn't necessary, it wasn't needed. But it's a brotherhood, man. Like, you, you can't expect, you know, you can't expect to see your, your homies, you know what I'm saying, get... You know, start fighting. You just gonna sit there and watch. Like it ain't in them like that. You know what I'm saying? One goes, they all go. Simple as that. The players before the game, we already told them wag you nang pansinin. When Kicker did all of those things at the start, that during the warm up, the warm up line, we already told them wag you nang pansinin. Focus on the game. But you know, after that, when he did that, all, all, all the in the third part, uh, it's hard to restrain them. And, I'm not gonna fight. I'm not gonna lie. That fight was pretty dope. I no, enjoyed it. he that. wanted. I don't know if he was trying to get into our minds. Uh, he was trying to start something besides using Saikwar against us. But you know, uh, uh, I, I have no. Whatever his motive is, there was no excuse for him doing what he did during the warm up. You know, no. you know what he was doing in the warm-ups you know what he was trying to do he was trying to get into the, the gillis head and it it worked you know so he did what he set out to do he, he went into the warm-ups tried to you know push other team around get into their heads before the game it worked but it was unfortunate that it led to a brawl as big as if like everybody i know was talking about it like, that's how big like everybody I know, people I didn't know, big um sports basketball play um pages on Instagram were talking about it. Like I'm pretty sure they didn't want it to get to that level. But the fact that it did, I mean it's it's sad that it did get that big and you know, it happened, but you shouldn't you should at the end at the end of the day, Aussie started this. This is Aussie's fault. If you've got a problem with that, I don't care. It's Australia, your team, basketball team, it's your guys' fault. Simple. All this could have been so up, so you know, up. It's gonna happen if you know Round you guys just were in decks. <laughs> what do you expect us to do? How will this affect the lineup in the next round? I don't know, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, we're going through to the second round. Uh, I know that all I know is this team remains solid. We have each other's backs and we'll be back each mm -hmm. other. Coach, a lot of different reactions from the fans. Uh, some Love it. Yeah, I, I understand the disappointment. I understand some are embarrassed, mm -hmm. but again, you don't know what happened. You have to yeah, be exactly. in the team within our circle to really understand what went down. Yeah, exactly. All right, well, do you guys have it, man? Um, pretty much, I agree with everything he's saying. Um, you know, we don't, as fans, you know, what I'm saying, as people who weren't on the court during the warm-ups, you know, during all of that, we don't know what actually what happened, what was said. We don't, we don't know any of that. We can just assume from what we see what happened like oh you know he probably said this and that you know he probably did this he, you know, we don't know for a fact what happened but at the end of the day it, it is disappointing that it happened but it happened um it's it kind of I, I still think it was pretty dope you know what i'm saying i know a lot of people ain't gonna agree with that um but i thought it was cool man i love a little bit of a you know a little bit of aggressiveness in the game you know what i'm saying it was to the point where people were making memes 
out of thumb make it, you know what I'm saying? Like running and kicking and shit, like. <sighs> this has probably been the most exciting news apart from LeBron joining the Lakers that I've had in so long. This week has been a pretty dope week, man. This week has been a pretty dope week. We got LeBron joining the Lakers. We get get us whooping Aussie's ass. Like, it's a great week for me. <laughs> But either way, T-Squad, hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. It really does mean a lot. If you want to see me react to any of the kind of video, make sure you guys leave it down in the comment section below, and I will get around to the majority of most of them when I can. But either way, T-Squad, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.